Hey everybody, uh, Judah Hoover here, coming to you from the Landlords and Investors Mastermind Group, out walking a beautiful end unit townhome uh, in Hummelstown, Pennsylvania. So Hummelstown is a great little area of central PA. It's not quite Harrisburg, it's not quite Hershey. Uh, has the best of uh, both of those areas. Hershey, obviously known for Hershey chocolates. Harrisburg, uh, as hopefully you know from your civics lessons or from being here in the area, is uh, the state capital. So uh, major employers like that, state capital is absolutely great. Uh, place to invest and we're in a little cul-de-sac uh, kind of half wooded uh, gorgeous uh, little cul-de-sac and you can see over there a little bit of an older development that this kind of butts up against but still uh, very nice uh, homes these are all uh, I would guess 75 to 80 uh, percent owner occupied homes and these are some of my favorite real estate deals to do. I have done dozens and dozens of houses just like this. They're absolutely my favorite. I got excited when I was walking this property. And let's go inside and take a look at why. And I think that there's two great lessons that we can learn from a house like this. And we're gonna talk about both of them as we walk and take a look at the house. All right, so we come in and whenever there's the garage, like there is on a lot of these townhouses, they don't put the garage down into the ground, uh, one car garage like that. So it kind of takes up like the ground floor of the house, eats into the footprint a little bit, if you will. Uh, and it means that you have what feels like a basement down here on the first floor. I don't know if those are 12 foot ceilings or 14 foot ceilings, whatever they are, they're big, they're way, way higher uh, up there than normal. Uh, we've got a wrapped hot water heater, which is cool to see uh, for extra insulation and also man i've been looking for an excuse to talk about this so what we have here is this is uh you know like a foam rubber wrapping on the hot and cold for some reason i'm not sure why they have the cold wrapped but somebody didn't know what they were doing they decided to insulate the cold water uh pipes coming in as well uh but the hot and cold uh wrapped What's great about that is it really cuts down on your heating bills and they have the uh, the tank wrapped as well here. We've talked about this before. You need to know what you're dealing with. You've got a uh, electric hot water uh, heater there. Obviously this is probably, I don't see a gas line coming anywhere into this house. So I can assume that this is a uh, forced electric like a heat pump type system here as well. A lot of people see this line here and they think that that is uh, an oil line or a gas line and they think maybe they're not dealing with an electric hot water or electric heat pump system. That's actually the Freon cord, the cable line, whatever that's gonna go up and outside to uh, where that big outside unit sits. The owner's turning this into a rental, and uh, they said they're going to leave their washer and dryer there. Nice little uh, setup here. I like this. See, whenever the builder built this, it's it's so great when you buy nice, newer properties like this, stuff that's built in the last 20 years, because everything is just laid out so nicely. Everything is neat and organized and makes so much sense. Let's walk up here into the main part of the house and take a look around. We've got a nice little sitting area here. This house is staged. The owner's not sure whether she's gonna leave her stuff here or turn this into an Airbnb. And you can see we're still kinda on the ground floor here. This was built a little bit into the bank. So it's a deck, sure, but it's not really an elevated deck or anything like that. Cool thing is, is not only do we have this living room area here, but then we also have like a little dining room area or area to have uh, your breakfast, that type of thing. Cool kitchen, coffee maker, an essential in every kitchen as far as I'm concerned. A little bit small, a little bit cozy, but still uh, for the size house this is, the product this is, really nice. And I got to tell you, this is like a $250,000 house, but because of... Uh, the stuff that this woman has in here, it feels like a $200,000, $300,000, you know, brand new listing. I love her sense of style. Um, I love this little nook that's here at the bottom of the steps going upstairs. It kind of could otherwise be dead space, but it's expertly, 
expertly decorated and I just love her sense of style. I'm looking at buying a house myself, another personal residence and I might have her come and do the decor on that here into the main bedroom. Hey, hi Judah, how are you? I'm doing great, thanks for asking. No, this is not the main bedroom, excuse me. So this is a two bedroom house. This is the smaller of the two bedrooms, kind of a guest room here, main bath. Now listen, if you've watched any of these uh, videos before, main bed, you've noticed that I'm not commenting on anything that this house needs. This house needs nothing. And here's my advice to people. Buy boring houses. Do boring real estate deals. And there's a reason for that. And it's only a two bedroom house. It doesn't need any work. Well, is that a real estate deal? Well, let's, let's crunch some numbers and let's talk about it a little bit. All right, so uh, let's crunch some numbers here. I'm gonna turn out some lights as we go. Um, that's the garbage disposal, didn't mean to turn that on. Uh, I'm going to talk as we go here because here's the deal with this house. I think that this is the type of house and this is the type of real estate deal that many more people should be trying to do and should be getting their hands on. It's not something that is rehabbed. You might not be buying something like this from a motivated seller, but let's crunch some numbers. This house is worth, I don't know, pick a number, 130, 140, something like that. Um, and a lot of people get crunched and get hung up on and try to only buy a piece of real estate if they can steal it. And I don't think that's always the right thing to do. A house like this, nothing's gonna go wrong with. It's gonna be very boring, but it's gonna be very stable and you almost can't go wrong with it. Let's talk about why that is. Oh, here's a nice little, I don't know what I was shooting my video before if I showed you this little powder room, but it is cute just like everything else this woman has done. So a house like this, put 20% down, your mortgage payment's gonna be 550, 500 bucks, something like that. You're gonna be in a situation where you're looking to maybe have $200 more on top of that for principal and interest. Um, when you put that together, you're talking about, I don't know, 750, 800 bucks. Let's go with the higher of the two, $800 for that. Oh, that's awesome. So I'm walking this house, turning off the lights and talking to you guys about numbers at the same time. And there's like, I don't know if you can see, like underneath the steps here. So like this whole way underneath these steps, there's like a closet there, kind of cool. So let's say principal and interest taxes and insurance. You're at 800 bucks. This house will rent for 1200. That's $400 a month in positive cash flow on a property that you didn't have to do any rehab on. On a property that didn't cost you, I have to go through the garage, uh, on a property that, you know, didn't take anything from you as far as negotiating hardcore with a seller. A property that you didn't have to um, manage a rehabbing or a contracting crew on. A property that, you know, for all major purposes, wasn't any risk associated with it for you. I mean, a real house like this, it's also going to go up in value. So not only do you have a property that... Can I talk to you guys and plug in the combo at the same time? So not only do you have a house that goes up in value, it's going to go up tremendously in value. And you don't have to steal a house like this when you first get it. Do the math. 20 years from now, this house is going to be worth, if it's worth, say, 140 right now, 5% appreciation on an annual basis. A house like this 20 years from now is going to be worth, I did these numbers earlier and I'm trying to remember, it was like $370,000, $350,000, something like that. 20 years from now, it's not going to matter whether you bought this thing for $80,000 and put $20,000 into it and therefore your all-in cost was uh, 100 to 110 when you figure out um, 
you know, interest. And then when you put a value on your effort, which your effort has value too, you know, that bumps that up to 120. So between capital and effort, you're into a house like this for $120,000 when you could have just gone out and bought it for 140. Well, guess what? 20 years from now, does it matter whether you save $20,000 or not? No, it's worth $370,000. And that's only if it appreciates at 5% annually. And I got to tell you, a nice house like this in Hummelstown, starter house, which is where I think you should invest your time, effort, and energy in real estate, starter house like this, your most of your value is going to come from principal reduction and appreciation uh, over time. And I think that a lot of people, they get hurt and they get burnt in real estate by contractors and they get hurt and they get burnt by underestimating the amount of work that it's going to take or not knowing what work was going to need to be done. And I think that it is perfectly fine to buy some beautiful, nice, clean properties in beautiful, nice, clean neighborhoods, rent them out. I think you could make $400 a month in cash flow on this property, $400 a month. Let's say I'm half wrong and you can only make $200 a month or $100 a month because you didn't put 20% down, so therefore you need to borrow more. So, I mean, I'm just trying to think worst case, worst case scenario, you're going to have a beautiful, nice house that cash flows at $100 a month. You're going to get good, high quality tenants in, in a nice school district, in an area that's going to go up and you're going to, in just 20 years, more than double your money. I mean, you can find an inflation calculator or a compounding interest calculator online and run your own numbers. Maybe you only have 10 years to build your portfolio. Maybe you think that uh, five year or 5% a year is just way too aggressive. I think you're wrong on both of those things, but houses like this are just awesome. And I think you should do more of them. And I think that you'll be happy if you do. Hey guys, give me a like, give me a subscribe, uh, share this video with other people, and hopefully uh, they will get some value from it too. I hope that you get some value from it, and uh, we're going to do more videos like this. I'm actually on my way to walk another property right now, and hopefully it'll get loaded up today too. Thanks guys. Have a great day.